What's good? My name is Kevin. This is the 1776 Report. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday, Dylan released a social media post bashing Bud Light. I'm not going to play it again. It's a bunch of gibberish, but I'll break it down. Basically, Dylan is upset that Bud Light paid $100,000 plus for a two-minute social media advertisement that ruined a billion-dollar brand. Sales are down by 30-plus percent. The stock is down. The market cap is down by $20 billion plus billion with a B dollars down. Dylan single-handedly ruined an iconic brand. But Dylan is mad because Bud Light didn't have Dylan's back. So you get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars. You could easily walk away, not say anything, but you feel the need to cry and complain and seek sympathy on social media. Well, what do you expect Anheuser-Busch and Bud Light to do? How do you expect them to respond? I was kind of hoping that they would finally stand up to the woke mob. They would say enough is enough. We're not going to participate in this woke chaos, but absolutely not. Bud Light and Anheuser-Busch have issued a response to Dylan's social media post. And what do you think they did? Yep, they bent the knee and they cowered to the woke chaos once again. Anheuser-Busch responds after Dylan's social media temper tantrum. In an Instagram post Thursday, Dylan described a torrent of online bullying and transphobia that had erupted after Bud Light put Dylan's face on a customized beer can. I was waiting for the brand to reach out to me, but they never did. For a company to hire a trans person and then not publicly stand by them is worse, in my opinion, than not hiring a trans person at all. Because it gives customers permission to be a transphobic and hateful as they want, Dylan said. All right, Dylan, I have a proposition for you. If you really feel that way, if you really feel that way, why don't you donate the entire fee that Bud Light paid you? We know you probably made anywhere from hundred dollars to $200,000 for the Bud Light advertisement. Why don't you donate that to some charity? If you're really a true believer, like you say you are, let's see you put your money where your mouth is and donate that to charity. But we don't want to know where Dylan's mouth is. Anheuser Bush did not immediately respond to a request for comment. The company has issued a generic statement to multiple outlets pledging its support for the LGBTQ plus community without mentioning Dylan's name. Here's the response. Here is the response. As we've said, we remain committed to the programs and partnerships we have forged over decades with organizations across a number of communities, including those in the LGBTQ, LMNOPQRSTUV community. And Anheuser-Busch spokesman said, the privacy and safety of our employees and partners is always a top priority. As we move forward, we will focus on what we do best, brewing great beer for everyone and earning our place in moments that matter to our customers, all right? So they are walking the line. I've said this in several videos. They're trying to keep the cake, but eat the cake too. You can't have it both ways. You either got to stand up to the woke mob or you got to bend the knee to the woke mob. It's never enough with them. You give them an inch and they want the whole damn rope. You cannot give in to the woke mob, and this is a prime example. Bud Light continues to crater and they have not helped themselves. Take a listen to this expert in the beer and beverage industry talk about how bad it is for Bud Light. It's getting out of control, it's spiraling, it's just getting worse. Industry is still surprised that Bud Light's trends have, haven't improved. And um, in fact, they just get a little bit worse. Uh, in the latest week of data from Nielsen, Bud Light volumes were down 31%. That was for the week going into Father's Day. And uh, I will say that the entire beer industry did not do well for Father's Day. I don't know if uh, Americans just weren't drinking as much or if they're drinking wine as spirits, but the fact remains that uh, Bud Light's trends were down even worse and uh, Miller Light and Coors Light are still up in the 20 something percent range. And so it's, it's really the trends have remained almost the same since about mid-May. And it's just now it's almost like business as usual because there's a $15 rebate on 15 packs, which in many markets makes it makes it basically free to the consumer. So, uh, you know, giving the beer away, they're increasing the marketing spend. They've come out with a new summer ad. They've come out with a new ad that celebrates their employees throughout the supply chain. 
and uh, and then they put their CEO Brendan Whitworth on CBS this morning. Bud Light is pulling out all the stops in order to try and maintain their shelf space because as soon as Walmart, gas stations, liquor stores, convenience stores pull the shelf space and give that space to another product, another brand, it's game over for Bud Light. They are putting their CEO out on CBS morning shows to try to pander to customers and offer some insight on what's going on. Oh, it's a sympathy story. Our employees are hurting. We're going to have to fire people. They are trying to put out these advertisements on Twitter and social media that are absolutely hilarious and get memed and ratioed to the moon. And they're giving away free beer. Bud Light is offering a $15 rebate on products ahead of July 4th weekend. Now, we just heard the expert in the beer space say that sales are down 30%. Those sales are down 30% with rebates, with free beer. So if you take away those rebates, coupons, and free beer, imagine how bad the sales really are. We're talking about maybe 50, 60, even worse percent down once you take away the coupons and rebates because people are going to go get free beer. It's just the way it is. Even though people are upset at Bud Light, if you're giving away the product for free, some people are going to go take advantage of that. So once they stop offering these rebates and giving the beer away for free, those sales numbers are gonna decline way worse. They are going to lose their shelf space. This is way worse than we ever imagined, the most successful boycott of all time. And I will continue making videos on this because I think it's the most important story in America today. The government is no longer run by Congress. It is now a corporate governance. You have lobbyists in Washington who are pushing the political agenda. So you have a senator or a congressman, let's say from Florida. Well, businesses donate to this dude's or woman's campaign and those businesses get to dictate the agenda that that politician pushes forth. So we need to show these big corporations like InBev, Anheuser-Busch, Bud Light, that we're not going to stand for this woke chaos. And we'll stand up for ourselves, our values, and we won't buy your product. And you know things are bad when even the New York Times is calling out your brand. Cheaper than water, retailers try to unload Bud Light. The brand is still struggling to win back customers. Nowhere is that more apparent than at stores, where cases of beer sit untouched. The article goes on to say, On a recent steamy Sunday afternoon, customers strolled through the aisles of Glenn Miller's Beer and Soda Warehouse, where overhead fans circulated the hot air. People heading to picnics, graduation parties, and other get-togethers with cases of top brands stacked high. Next to 30 packs of Miller Light on sale for $24.99, that a stack of Bud Light. A large banner above it noted that after a rebate, a 30-pack cost a mere $9. Not cheap enough for me, New York Times. It would have to pay me thousands of dollars. Rebate. Send in this flyer and you get back $50,000. I might think about it. Probably still wouldn't do it. But $9, I'm not paying one penny for that transmission fluid. They can put out these summer ads trying to win customers back. They can offer rebates, give away free beer, send their CEO on every morning show. They can have their partners in the fake, woke mainstream media try to cover for them and write puff pieces and positive articles about Bud Light. But that doesn't change anything. We're not coming back. We will never come back. And let me know what you think about this in the comments. I love you guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Until next time, peace.